I'm back, bitch. Only one side of my wall is covered with this silk lining. Today, we're gonna be playing Phoenix Wright. Thanks for turning. You would never get the chance to treat me like I'm a piece of shit again. Maya! Don't the reason we're playing this game is because this community is in shambles. I'm a part of it, and the fandom is in shambles, and we really need to talk about it. <laughs> the things that they are posting to their Twitters, to their wherever, and they think is okay, is, is very concerning. And so today I've decided to ease that pain. Uh, I will take on the burden of doing something that is Ace Attorney related, because we need something. Uh, okay, so listen, I have not played this game in, it's been a, it's been a minute. I can't get killed. Not like this. <laughs> I've got to find someone to <laughs> It's over. All right, well. I will see you guys in the next video. It's been a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I didn't know I was playing Danganronpa. Larry is so annoying. I love him, but he's like so annoying. Okay, so Larry's girlfriend is dead and apparently he killed her. <coughs> Statue. The thinker. Uh, it's rather heavy. I would, I would think it would be heavy in order to kill someone, but maybe that's just me. Look at this piece of shit. Oh, he's sweating, now she in distress. Witnesses account. Ooh, I have a record of the blackout for your purse. For your purse. For, for why you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. What? What? He was lying. <laughs> <laughs> then, once you found the contradicting evidence, purse. What? Girl, I'm gonna need you to calm down. She, she went. <laughs> okay, we gonna present the evidence. Girl, don't you ever run up on me like that again. Then I saw her lying there. A woman, none moving, dead. But she wasn't moving at all and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. I, you don't just walk in somewhere and see someone lying in a pool of blood and say, Girl, I know that nap busting. You bleeding? Ooh. I need to take me one of those. It's something about the way that he's moving and the way that I'm seeing the actual animation in 3D that's making me mad. This is what it's giving. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And now the movement looks even worse. I, er, er, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Maya, I think it's time to talk about the way you be looking at me. It's, it's giving me very much constipation. You need to go to the bathroom, girl? Or can you not? Or can you not? Is that why you're looking at me like that? Like, this is the one. Because the power was out. Duh. Duh. Stupid. I will irk. Girl, okay. It must have been the shock of finding the body, but you were the one who killed her. So, next. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Bitch, you know the fuck you did. Right? What? You, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, so. <clears throat> The victim had just returned home for, uh, uh, for, uh, abroad. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And with that, this court is adjourned, as it should be. Let us out. Let us out. Let us out, please. I'm going so crazy. It turns out that Frank Saw was a common burglar. Bur burglar. 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 Ooh. Ooh. While he was searching her place, the victim returns. Blustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find and murdered her. Damn, girl. You have blood on a flower. And now we're going to go to the first real investigation, the first real trial, and that is Turnabout Sisters, episode two. So let's get on with it now. Bring, 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 bring. This is Maya. Hey. Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. Okay, so if I skip that part because it was too much dialogue, it is basically Maya and Mia talking to each other because they're sisters. They're good sisters. September 5th, 857, Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. 
Why, I see right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. Ho, ho. Yes, Santa, give us everything. My dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <gasps> What's that smell? Pennies! It smells like pennies. Oh my god. Girl, Maya, you looking a little ashy. I mean, I don't know that that's Maya. I'm playing this for the first time. Just kidding. No, I'm not. That's Maya. Girl, you ashy. A lot of these things in HD are very unsettling, and I think that's one of them. Damn. Miss Thing, you okay? No. No, you're dead. Mia, girl, the titties are sitting. So even in death, girl, the body is there. Okay, so we're gonna examine her. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. How crazy that the thinker was used again. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hands. What could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Not a saying Maya. Mia? On this receipt, wrote Maya with her blood. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but for me, maybe she killed her. Oh, I can't say that because we saw, no, maybe, maybe Maya was doing some cosplay and wanted to have some pink hair. Okay, go on the calls. Right, I better call the, Phoenix, you fucking dumbass. You haven't called the, that's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Police, come quick! What, what was that? Okay, cool. Well, that happened. Okay, the computer. You can tell this 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 game is old by looking at the computer. Damn, Mia's setup is like crazy. What kind of stream she be doing? So basically how this game works is that you, when you're in new rooms, you have to search for evidence for those of you who haven't played it, but you have to search for evidence within the rooms and it won't let you progress. Some of the some of the cases won't let you progress in, until you find what you need to in a certain room. Her name is question mark, question mark, question mark. And she's saying dot, dot, dot. These names, oh. Maybe I should show her the receipt. Oh. That's my name! <laughs> the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Yeah, okay, so this is Mr. Dick Gumshoe, one of the greatest himbos of all time. Like, literally, is just... <sighs> Look at him. Gumshoe? What an odd name. You're an odd name, Phoenix, right? F you bitch. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Brilliant deduction. Brilliant deduction, sir. You, you are so smart, I love you. I don't like the way he look in HD. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Well, she is a criminal, she's ashy. Looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> Sorry, not a chance. <laughs> Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Oh, girl, you were right by her dead body. Did I look at her like that? I mean, she was by a dead body, so I don't, I wouldn't put it past you, but okay. <laughs> Maya, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what I, all oh, acolytes wear. A col, a coliates, a col. Acolyte. Acolytes. It's acolytes, right? I'm a spirit medium in training. A, a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold onto a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence, yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. This is the address of a famous lawyer. <laughs> my sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm, except. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Okay, so if I skip some of that because it was too much talking, as because this is a visual novel, um, Maya here, Miss Ashy, um, is a spirit medium in training, and so she needs to be represented because people think she killed her sister. Because you know, we walked in and she was right there by her by her sister's dead body. I guess I'm gonna go to the office. September 6, Faye and Co. Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. 
This is the crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Gumshoe. First of all, we're gonna present um, my statement because she needs her phone so that we can talk about what was going on on that phone call. Girl, cause she probably could have been like, girl, I'm gonna come over and murder you. I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. <laughs> Tricky lawyer. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. I'm not so straight, so I'm gonna tell him that way. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. Me neither. <laughs> the, uh, th that carrying strap on the cell phone. This, hmm, it says the still samurai, warrior of, of Neo, Neo Old Tokyo. The still samurai, that action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is, co is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what she said? Um, yes. <laughs> He's like buffering. Okay, pal. <laughs> I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems like he didn't notice the recorded conversations, period. He's a himbo. He's he's not supposed to. He, he's big, dumb, and sweet. Mia's autopsy report, time of death. September 5th at 9 p.m. Single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. That big, he, he went, she went, doop. She said, wait, gotta get my, gotta get my hair right. Gotta make sure my titties right. She went. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, being a lawyer and all. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. <laughs> Look at that face. I love you so much. <laughs> can't keep looking at each other like this. I am quite literally in love with you, but I think you know that. Not Miss Strawberry Shortcake, anyways, who was yelling. <laughs> yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. He's a flaming homosexual. Hello there, handsome. Girl, not her doing the little. Girl, she a wham. Anyways. You're the lawyer, aren't you? That detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Oh my God. Let's examine. Girl, what is this? That's been catching my eye ever since we first went in this room. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, <laughs> hey. What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. Yeah, girl, she, yeah. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Me too. Anyways, girl, first of all, the little nya nya pose is not doing it. It's not doing it for me. The scheme of the outfit is very cute. I'm very, I'm loving the hair, contra, like I'm loving how the hair goes with your eyes and then how um, this kind of over shirt you're working with this kind of open button shirt, white underneath. I, I really love that. I love the hearts on like the vest, very cute. Um, and I love that you're embracing your titties, girl. Let them out, girl. Cause if I had some, if, if I, yeah, they'd be out too, I'd be like. I like a man with a Girl, we know you was gonna say dick. Just wrap it up. Just wrap it up. Just wrap it up. Um, could you just exactly who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Girl, no. Uh, really? You got that from him? Really, girl? Anyways. N no, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee, you know you're cute when you blush. Okay, so that was, uh, did absolutely nothing for me. Can we present her with anything? Nope. 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 Can't do anything, so we're gonna move. We gonna move, because she gave us nothing. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out still. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <clears throat> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Ahaha, so you're the one who has been looking for me? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? I don't like him. Why is his little mustache moving up and down? It's going... 
I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Urk, ahem. Anyways, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, uh, y y yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Grumble, think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Okay, what about the painting? That's quite a painting. Ah, <laughs> you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Sh shut up. Okay, okay. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, fanboy. Wrap it up. It's not for sale. Okay, girl. We understand. You like to look at that painting and it gives you feelings. Hiya. Hiya, Maya. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? I really don't think you should use that guy. He, he didn't seem healthy. You don't mean... He refused to help. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. White. See, it's always some. It, it's always a white person. It's all. It's it's always a white man. It's always a white man. Do I just leave her and go home? We're gonna go home. I've had a long day. I I just wanna relax and 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 uh, take my bath. I can't abandon you. Dot dot dot. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know I've been there a long time ago. Girl, don't don't lie. Phoenix, you don't have friends now. It's okay, baby. Just 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 speak the truth. You aren't fooling anyone. Have you seen your hair? It 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 it's a mess. Yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> Let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right. Thank you. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been really bugging me. Yeah, girl, go talk to her. It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. Right, there has to be something in there. Right, so let's scoot on down and go. Now we're gonna go back to the hotel and talk to whatever, oop. Not the die job. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Oh, uh, I believe all guests Miss May is currently using the, uh, Facilities? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Might I ask to inform Miss May that there's a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Maybe two minutes ago. Maybe two minutes ago. White. That was his thank you. God, connect the dots. Phoenix, you're hopeless. Okay, so let's look right here. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. Da da da. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. <laughs> what would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Exactly. There's definitely something suspicious, suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? That's my question. There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bot bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. No, I don't. I would like you to elaborate on what you mean by getting to her bottom. Oh, bow boy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tan tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! <laughs> Alright, to be continued. So, we are done with this first episode. On the next episode, we're gonna go and see what exactly is happening in this first day of court. So, I'll see you guys next time.